Welcome back to the channel, everybody. What I'm gonna show you today is Boba Fett and a Stormtrooper, but not a Black Series. You can see I got some Black Series figures out here. This is my custom Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett, or the re-armored Boba Fett. And that's kind of the Boba Fett that they have here. And then of course, a regular Stormtrooper. So I have a Black Series Stormtrooper out here. I went ahead and took a chance with this set and I'm just gonna show it to you. So it's pretty simple packaging, a card, a bubble. It's got the name, it's box 24. And on the back, you can see there's like two two figure sets. So Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, and then you got a Shadow Trooper and a R2 Q5. Now they look pretty cool too. And if I really like these, I'm probably gonna pick these up. Now recently, Shop Disney was where I got this. It was a little over $20, but it was free shipping for that day. So I took a chance on it. Let's get it open and take a closer look. All right, so I got these out of the package and I have to say, you know what? They do look really kind of good. Look at that Stormtrooper. That looks great. And you know what the funny thing is? He's a little bit shorter than this other Stormtrooper, but look, his helmet is bigger, right? So it's kind of interesting the way that they did some of the perspectives on this, but I do kind of like the way it's like built and looks, it has a really good look. Now check this out. So with the helmet, it is on a swivel joint and that back of the helmet does prohibit the up and down motion, but he can look left, right? He can actually go all the way around, right? So the arms come up, they have like a little uh, ball and swivel. The elbows have that same kind of ball or, and swivel right there. You can see where it goes into the arm and swivels. The wrist right here swivels. You got some motion right here. You got the legs, which are on a ball joint so you can get some good uh, motion. And then you got that knee, which is also on the ball and swivel. And then you got a little bit of motion in the foot. You're gonna be able to get him into some really cool poses in a way. Look at that. That is actually cool. So let's take a closer look at Boba Fett. And man, he looks really cool. Look at the helmet. Now check this out. He can actually look much farther up than the Stormtrooper can because that helmet does not hinder his motion. And he can also look 360. So it does go all the way around. This piece does not move. The backpack does not come off, but he's got all the same articulation and motion than the other with the uh, all the same joints. Now the feet are kind of like a little bit bigger and they don't sit perfectly flat, but I haven't noticed any issue with being able to get him with a little bit of working to get him to be able to stand up on his own. And I think it looks really, really cool. Now comparison wise to the Black Series, I'm not gonna replace my Black Series because they're very realistic, but these toy box figures are super awesome. And if you got like a little one, who's really into figures. These ones seem like they're very durable and the box indicates that it's for a three plus. So I think that's a pretty good option for if you wanna get your kids, your younger kids into like action figures. And I think, you know, even if you don't have a lot of space and you wanna just pick up like ones or twos or whatever, these look really kinda cool. I'm thinking about keeping this guy in my car or something like that. Anyways, everybody, I just wanted to show those off really quick. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, have a fantastic day.